Iron Toast here, and today we're going to show you another way, maybe even a different way, to beat the nameless Epic Thanos. Alright, let's jump right into it. We're going to beat this uh, nameless Thanos. Now, the most of the work that I'm going to show you beating him is with Carnage. Carnage, I think, is probably one of the easiest ways to beat him. Maybe not maybe not the best, but you know, I don't have the best champs. You may not have the best champs, but Carnage makes it pretty easy to get past that first step, stage. The second stage is fairly simple, and then uh, I have Gwenpool in there to do some cleanup. Um, Venom to maybe have some extra muscle in the middle there, and I was just going to try something here with Star-Lord. We'll see how it goes. So the first thing you need to know about Carnage is uh, duped would be a better option. And you want to keep the opponent bleeding. And luckily they didn't put any sort of bleed immunity on Thanos, because you can. The reason you keep him bleeding is because it allows you to do that uh, extra power gain, and that's really going to help in the next section when you constantly need to have specials ready to go. So the first bit, the, the first tiny bit of Thanos here is just fighting him. And then he does that at first Infinity Gem, and basically what you need to do is you need to hit him with a special attack or a heavy attack to get rid of that orange thorns node there. Otherwise, you're taking damage every time you hit him, and that's just ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> I accidentally let him stop bleeding here. So we're gonna. Uh, he didn't let me get a parry there. There we go. So there's the bleed, and you want to keep the bleed on him. So my my goal here is to get as many of the buffs on Carnage as I can. I prefer the offensive ones, like the Fury and the and the uh, the critical bonus chance. It, it escapes me now. What is it? Precision. So I prefer to have the Fury and the Precision buffs. Um, nice thing about Carnage is if you don't get a, a if you don't have him bleeding and you and you need to get a guaranteed bleed, this special three works also. But you can see here basically um, <clears throat> every time he throws that special, you dodge it, which is fairly easy. It's one dash back for the laser right there, and then kind of right as he hits the ground, you can dash back again. <clears throat> there we go. I was close and I was gaining power, which was nice. I didn't have a special ready, but his duped ability allows me to gain power. I've gained that power and hit him with that unblockable special. Now, pretty much anybody who gains a lot of power can do this, right? Hyperion or, or um, gosh, he's the first one that comes to mind. But uh, basically, somebody that can automatically gain power so that you can get those specials off and not have to worry about hitting into those thorns. <clears throat> We're down to one percent damage here. I'm health here. You know, the reason you come to this channel is because we play for real, right? Um, I'm sure this can be done in one champion. Somebody's somebody's doing it out there. I think I've seen it with Domino. Um, that shouldn't be your goal, honestly. Just get him down. If you can do it with just one team and without doing any revives, by all means, um, do that. Uh, <clears throat> so let's see. We're still we're gonna go a little ways here with one health. The goal is to get through the first phase, which should be yep. There it is. Um, and from this one, every time you go into that second phase, just dash in right away and get that 5 hit combo ending on a light. That way you can get rid of the reversed controls. For me, we're just going to try and get whatever health we can off before um, our last bit of health goes away. <clears throat> okay, reversed my controls and got clobbered there. <laughs> That's okay. You know what? Carnage did his job. When you do this fight, you got to practice it for one. And number two, you have to have a plan going into it. The plan here was to start off with Carnage. And I'm going to test out star lord here <clears throat> and so this was intended to be maybe a, a fight with thanos with maybe characters you haven't seen yet and i'm gonna try it here with star lord but let's just say it doesn't exactly go very well uh, okay so he's up to two bars of power he's about to invert my controls there we go watch out for those orange fireballs once your eyeballs get used to it it's it's like dodging any special it's not that big deal Now he's got a damage cap in this series, in the middle section of his uh, this fight, and so even that special too, that's as hot as it was going to get. But I just kept it off because I just wanted to keep firing specials. And he pounded me there. Like I said, keeping it real here. <laughs> so luckily this is still kind of a video of beating him without, without god tier champs because Star-Lord didn't uh, 
maybe I'll, t maybe I'll test it again sometime. I don't know. I'm kind of tired of fighting this guy. But I was going to try and basically get the first part down with Carnage and then build up a combo meter. That way when you get to the third phase, you can just like, pop one special three with Star-Lord and finish the job. But um, that's obviously <clears throat> not going to happen here. But we're still on the first team here. So get past this garbage. I did bring along Venom for some filler in case I needed to get to that last part. So he's doing his job. So sticking to the plan here still. Remember, dash straight in after he goes out of this. He will, he will always let you hit him if you go right away. Venom is uh, Venom's pretty decent for this, this middle section too because he bleeds. Pretty much any bleeder is good for this middle section or damage over time of any sort. Uh, because, I mean, there is a damage cap, but the bleed helps you get through that faster. Even though this is the easiest part. Of course, I say that, and I've already died twice. <laughs> anyway, it happens. <clears throat> so I've got uh, I've got a special two. I should probably just use it. I don't think I'm gonna have time to get that next buff in. Yeah, just throw it. I'm waiting for him to throw his. There we go. Um, once it gets down to 40% health, um, make sure you basically start intercepting him or start blocking because he's going to be uh, immune. You can't parry him anymore. Let's see. Yeah, yep, there's his special. I'm probably ready to use mine again too. I don't think I'm going to get another... Uh, maybe one more buff. Let's wait a sec. I gotta get out of this inverted controls first. There we go. There we go. And again, Venom, Venom, in my plan, Venom was the filler. So if I can get him down to that 30, almost 33% health or, or into that last phase, that's that's the goal here. We're gonna keep going. Knock him down a little more. Can't parry. Oh, I went the wrong way. Uh, Heimdall saved me there, so I can get another SP2 off there anyway. Perfect. Mission accomplished. So Venom, I mean, he's practically dead. And now he is. <laughs> Alright, so uh, time for the finisher. Gwenpool, I'm, I'm sure you've seen this. You know, the idea here is that <clears throat> Gwenpool doesn't die from specials. Um, if she's duped. They also put a mechanic in here where if you've got... If you manage to intercept... Thanos, you kind of get a, a reduced damage, a significantly reduced damage from his from his special three, um, and that's with any champion. Or if you have an event, if you have an Avenger, they also take a, a damage cap of what 30, 35 percent, something like that. So they have other ways to sort of mimic what Gwenpool's doing here, and not to the same extent. Unfortunately, she just flat out prevents you from losing a percentage of damage of your remaining health whereas all those other mechanics that are kind of built in to help with this fight that's just a percentage a percentage of your total health so once you get to a low amount you're going to die anyway but Gwenpool it's a percentage of your remaining health that's the difference and so the goal here he's basically indestructible and unstoppable all the time you basically just need to wait out his unstoppable unless you have somebody awesome like Captain America Infinity War which I don't I tried it with She-Hulk wasn't very successful uh, you basically have to be good at intercepting and I'm not um, I mean, I basically just got lucky any time that I actually got all the way through this fight uh, with my intercepts. Um, quick note here, that purple hammer on my side, that purple hammer buff, that was me having a successful intercept on him. So I would only lose a max of like 15, 20% health, kind of like the Avenger tag does on its own, which is good. And again, she doesn't die anyway, but no big deal. Um, I kind of got him into a, a pattern here towards the end. I, I don't even try to intercept him while he's got that unstoppable buff. He pretty much always dashes back and then hits me. It's so frustrating. <laughs> but I'll show you, as soon as he finishes this special, I'll kind of show you what he does. Um, it's pretty repeatable, I found it to be. So back up here when he comes at you, let him run away. Don't block, but let him run away. He does it three times. Now you can intercept. So I've, I've found that, you know, he first of all, they place you in a in kind of a crappy spot. On the on the board when you come out of his special you're you're like more than halfway over to the left you're like a third of the way over to the left of the screen which is annoying so i found that if you back up and don't block just let him run away from you 
like three times. He, he does it over and over. See, so watch it here again. Back up, he runs away. Back up, he runs away. Back up, he runs away. Now, now I'm comfortable intercepting because even if he blocks, he's not going to trash me because he's not unstoppable. Um, another thing you should know, in order to get damage through, you have to intercept him. So, again, you have to be good at it. Um, I found that, <clears throat> I mean, you can do some damage. You know, when you intercept him, you transfer all your armor breaks to him and you can deal some damage. See, back up, back up. He does it three times, there we go. Intercept, well, didn't get the intercept there. But when you do intercept him, um, you transfer all of your armor breaks to him and you're able to deal some massive damage. I think the advice you get from anybody is save up to your special three because you can only deal damage for like a second. And so save up to your special three, get that intercept in and reel, off, reel it off right away. I should do it here, I bet. There we go. Special three. See if we got enough here. Yep, there we go. There you go, Gwenpool, the queen of not dying. <laughs> so, um, that was my take on Thanos. Um, I did it without reviving. Um, I had much better fights than that one where Carnage takes him all the way into his, in Thanos' third um, phase. You know, I've had much better fights than that one. It's pretty sloppy, but again, welcome to the real the real world here. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I hope there might have been some tidbits you didn't already know. Um, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, we'll catch you next time. See ya.